What's up guys, my name's Captain Dave and welcome back to Mass Effect where last time we left off we just had a whole bonanza of side quests and stuff that we had to get through and we are nowhere, <laughs> fortunately nowhere near finishing it. Even though a lot of these are stuff we don't necessarily have to do just yet and a lot of these are stuff that we don't have to do until we're on the Citadel. We've still got a few more to do, but I have had enough of side quests for now. I really think it's time we head off to Novaria. But, unfortunately, before we do, Novaria is in the Horsehead Nebula. If that makes any sense. It's one of the places we have to go to. And also in the Horsehead Nebula is the very last part of Hostile Takeover. But before we get there, we have to go to the Gemini Signal Cluster first to destroy the last sort of enemy... What are they, what are they called? Crime Lords, to finish off the last Crime Lords, and then the last person we have to go see is also in the Horsehead Nebula. So the way I figure it, we might as well go to the Gemini Signa Cluster, or whatever else it is called first. If we head there, we can finish off the last Crime Lord, and then head off to the Horsehead Nebula, completely finish off that mission. Oh yeah, I forgot we are in the, uh, <laughs> the Soul System. Bye Earth. But yeah, and then that way, what we can do is we can completely finish off everything there, then go to Novaria, and then we're on our way. So, Genomite Signa, that's where we're heading. Ming, we do not want to go to the Ming one just yet, we want to head to Han, that's where we're going. Well, I'll be. We just entered the solar system and didn't get a side mission from uh, <laughs> Admiral Hackett. I'm actually quite surprised. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a look at these planets. Do we have anything we need here? No, apparently not. Do, 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 do. Paravin. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was Palavin. I was about to say that's the Torian homeworld, but nope, not that one. Uh, Patlas. Do, 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 do. Yes, we can survey this one too. That's the place we need to go to, so let's just sort out this one. Nope, nothing there to do just yet. Is there everything? One, two, three, four, five rings. Yep, that's all of them. Alright, it's time to take out this last crime lord. We are taking out Crime Lords. Who should we take? I think we should take Garrus. I feel like he's the sort of person who would want to kill a Crime Lord. He just he just seems like that kind of guy. And... Hmm. Taking out a Crime Lord. Let's have Caden. He's biotic and tech skills work quite well together. And plus, Garrus and Caden, they seem to just work well together, I feel. I tell you what, I haven't had the team of Garrus and Liara together yet. Maybe I should... Put them together at one point. <laughs> they haven't had many teams with Liara in it. Okie dokie. Oh, it's a level 2 hazard. I'm not surprised. It is pretty blowy out there. We've got 6 points for Garrus. Maybe I should really updo your sniper rifles. Seems how you are a snipering kind of guy. Turian agent. Let's get that last one filled out. Advanced Adrenaline Burst, yadda yadda yadda. Might actually, oh yeah, actually I'm going to updo your Sabotage, I think. Master over. oh actually no. Let's give you Master Overload, and then let's stick the rest in Dampening, I feel. I'm alright, Kane's alright. Okie dokie, right, on the map, where are we heading? We need to go to the Syndicate Hideout. Huh, okie dokie, don't see why not. Well, obviously that's a bit of a, a ways to travel, and there's that right there. So I'm going to get all the stuff on here first, and I'll be back with you when we are at the Syndicate Hideout. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okie dokie, guys, I am back, and it looks like we are coming up on top of the Hostiles base, on top of the Crime Lords base. By the massive red triangles, I think they symbolise turrets. I think that's what I've come to realise by now. And I'm more just looking for a ramp way up there, because that does not exactly look like it's very sort of helpful way up. <laughs> and the last thing we want to do is sit there doing parkour for ages, just get blasted in the face the second we get up there. I think I may have just found my entrance. God, it is so snowy here, I can barely see anything. I'm about to turn down the volume even in my 
headset because all I can hear is the sound of wind and snow. Well, snow, I suppose snow doesn't really make a noise, does it? But the sound of the wind, anyway. Hello, base. Oh, jeez, I do not want to be this close to it. Yikes! I'm surprised I actually managed to avoid that. Oh, I'll tell you what, crime lord or no crime lord, they've got themselves a nice little base here. I mean, no <laughs> I could barely get up here. And the second you do, you've got three heavy turrets in your face. I wouldn't mind, but they're alliance heavy turrets. Using their own merchandise against us. Oh, I was hoping I could blow it up. Oh, don't worry. One turret left and I've got an entire Mako of health. I'm fine. Anyway, let's find the entrance to this thing before I get out. Because as I say, it's a level 2 health risk. I don't want to be running around around it as much as possible. Let's get inside out of the cold. Good, good, good. Oh, finally. I don't hear the... The sound of wind anymore, I just hear that creepy music. And if you haven't noticed, not only does Garrus have a nice shiny bit of upgraded armor with some pretty lights on it, which give away his position, Shepard has this awesome red armor now. Because upgraded Shepard, he can now wear medium armor. I found this armor greatly increased how good he is. And it just gives enemies something to fear. When someone comes in with big red armor like this, you know danger is about to go down. And it's about to go down Shepard style. But anyway, let's take out this crime lord because, as I said, like in previous previous episodes, I'm sick of doing these side missions for now. I want to get to Novaria and kill some people for real. That's what we've got: Garish, you got your assault rifle, okay, and your pistol. Yep, yep, yep. And also, because I sold all my stuff that I'd got from these side missions, I ended up getting so much money. I bought Tally or Rex. I haven't given it to him yet. I managed to buy the Spectre Grade shotgun. So I'm about to have some very happy teammates. Watch out. Yeah, watch out indeed. I'm not making the same mistake I made a while back. I'm <laughs> I'm getting cover and I'm getting it now. Can you, Garrus, I want you to hit sabotage on him for me. There's one dead Krogan. Right, who else we got? Oh, that's another Krogan. This time, you, Caden, you're going to lift him up for me. I think I'm going to get Marksman on. Who else we got before my marksman runs out? Sit down! How did my gun overheat? I was in marksman. I will destroy you. Okay, didn't overload this guy. Okay, my gun seems to have glitched out. Let me switch guns and then I'll switch back again. And apparently boost up. Okay, this is great. <laughs> apparently my gun decided to glitch out and overheat. And I'm going to die as a result of it. Right, adrenaline burst. Medikit. Shield boost. Oh, that's why I'm facing the crime boss right now. No wonder why I'm getting hurt. For some reason, I don't know why my gun overheated that quickly. It shouldn't have done. Garrus, reset all your talents, even though they're about to heal themselves anyway. Caden, use a neural shock on that guy if you can. I'm going to put up a barrier. And then I'm going to stick marksman on. Come out, you coward. Where are you? There's <laughs> some crime boss you are. Oh, back up, back up. Garrus, let's overload that guy. Let's get him out of my face. Whoa. Oh, there's a dude next to me. Maybe I should be paying more attention to... Ah, every time I get round there, they always run away. There you are. Alright, let's hit a warp on you. Who else we got? God, this has been a real... Firefight, this one has. Although, it'd be cool if they had a bit more dramatic music. It's just got, <laughs> they just got this creepy music that's not really sort of in tone with the fight. Let's see if I can lift this guy up. Nope, not quite. There's a guy just around this 
corner. Oh, there's two. Who's got overload? And you can hear sabotage on that guy. Second crime lord defeated. That's both of them. No doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. I'm overjoyed that I managed to do that about dying. For a second I thought I was gonna. Clear. We are clear, Caden. Well, these crime bosses, they've got to have some sort of good loot around here. Hmm. Meta gel. Yeah, I don't know why my... Maybe it was something I missed, because obviously I wasn't paying attention to the overheating bar. But I was pretty certain that I had marksmen on at that particular time, so my gun shouldn't have overheated. The only thing I can think is that maybe the uh, maybe the crime boss used something like sabotage on me, so my weapon like overheated and I couldn't use it. That's the only thing I can really think. But, oh well, as I say, I wasn't exactly paying attention to the overheat bar, because I had a uh, marksman on. Thank you for your good stuff. Oh, I thought these guys were. Just lead the thought way. these guys were playing poker for a second. Then I was going to get in on that action. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Shuts the door the second I get there. Oh, looks like we have loads of goodies in here. Still, nothing's managed to. Wow, that's the easiest decryption ever. <laughs> but that's supposed to be average. Still nothing has beaten the uh, the great haul we got from when we got Rex's from when we got Rex's family armor. That was just like a massive stash of loot we got. Oh no, I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't exactly too bad either. But anyway, I'm gonna make my way out of here. I think that's everything for this planet in general. I'm gonna have a quick scour through the solar system like I normally do, and then hopefully after maybe one more planet or two, we should be off to the Horsehead Nebula. So see you guys then. Well, 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 guys, while we were searching throughout the Ming system, we have come across the MSV Worthington. Let's go check out and see what this is. The Worthington is a Kowloon-class modular convey of the human design, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. The ship appears to be shut down state, the main thrusters are cold, and it is adrift of the orbit of the anti repro system. Anyway, we can board it, so let's see what's going on on board. I love we walk on, it's just they're having a party. It's like, hey, Shepard and his team could break down. <laughs> we seem to be sidetracking so much on the way to track down Saren. Why not have a little party while we're there? Hmm, let's bring along. Let's bring Liara. And let's bring. Tally. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd be able to upgrade some of your points. Right, three. Let's stick this in. Liara, let's get your lift up. You're a bit, becoming a bit of a sort of like an average character, you are. All your talent points are very evened out. Let's get your... See, I don't know where I should get an advanced shield boost. Nah, let's get, let's get your dampening up, I think. I think that's a better bet for you. And Shepard's just dandy, as he always is. Looks like this vessel was abandoned. Most of the systems seem to be disabled. Only basic life support appears to be functioning. Well, that's good because I was. <laughs> we're not going to last very long. Door to the right, door to the left. Can we go in the door to the left? Nope. All right, let's hope we go in door to the right. Have we just found ourselves a derelict ship. It'd be nice if we have. Oh, Liara decided not to speak. Alright, I'll do your part for you. What was that? Was What was that noise? Where was it coming from? I'm Liara. I talk without a... Using my voice. Set that trap. The whole place could be wired. <laughs> okay, good to know. How close can I get to these things before they blow up? Oh. <laughs> You shouldn't have got so close. I think we're done here. <laughs> well, if you want to go back to the ship, Liara, you can. That was a very girly scream you just let off there. 
Looks like my squad aren't exactly the most nimble footed, are they? Look, if I'm going to be looking for loot, you guys have explosives. Yeah, that's not a surprise. If I'm going to be looking for. Team! Okay, I'm not going to heal my team until we've got through this little Terrific minefield because I'm just going to waste Medigel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing lemmings. You go first, Liara. Tally. <laughs> Check if that mine is clear. Mount. No, I don't want to mount it. No, it looks like we don't really have any objects around here that we can search. And if we do, to be honest, right now, I've got I got so much loot and money. I really don't think I need it. Hmm. Three different rooms. Left, right, and then we'll go forwards. What happened to these guys? Life support machine. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I do not see any brain activity on the readouts. He is dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It is your decision, Shepard. But perhaps we should wait until we have more information before we do anything. That is a good good idea, Liara. I always like to know everything that's going on. That kind of looks like Conrad Vernon. That guy from um, the Citadel. Oh, you two are both... There you go. No, no running into any more mines, okay, you two? I'm not wasting any more Medigel on you. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Hmm. Huh. Well, he's definitely saying he wants to be let go, but... As I said, let's get some more information before we actually do it. The last thing I want to do that is then they turn into some weird husks or something and start attacking me. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I definitely want that to happen. <laughs> No more bodies in here. I will take your loot, though. I mean, you're definitely not going to be needing it. And even if you did, I'm still going to take it anyway. Because I'm Commander Shepard. I've got some awesome red armor, and that is what I do. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him. And it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless. So damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Hmm, that is not good. <laughs> An angry, depressed lady who doesn't want to let her dying boyfriend go. I've got a feeling that maybe that angry lady might be what happened to the rest of this crew. Well, the captain's definitely not home. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down give her a chance to Julia what are you doing here why are you <laughs> uh oh who the Julia <laughs> really you don't look like you're doing much in the way of destroying right now bye bye Julia well I'm guessing when they said their implants are flaring up they were actually referring to a uh, biotic implants and not the Implants of the jiggly kind. <laughs> Either that or that's what she threw at us. Ah, well, I'm sorry, Jacob. Even though you look like Conrad Vernon, time to let you go. That was the compassionate thing to do, Shepard. Yep. Now let's get out of here before that body starts to stank up the place. <laughs> well, this was an odd little side mission. My team gets blown up by minds that they can't seem to stay away from even though I tell them to stay away from them and then some crazy biotic lady who's living here on her own with a 
dead guy. I don't know, want to know what she was doing here with it on its own, by the way. That's just, that's something that can, that can just wait for another time. What did she do with the crew? Clearly she didn't space them because, you know, oxygen and life support was still going on here. Maybe she did, who knows. Maybe she crushed them, crushed them all with her jiggly implants, eh? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. But anyway, that is definitely everything for this system, and we are off to the next time you'll see me, we'll be in the Horsehead Nebula. Well, we have finally, for what it looks like, got to the main base of operations. The Helena, what's her face? Helena Blake. Looks like we have finally found the main source of her operations. A very ominous building in the middle of nowhere. I'm quite surprised a fresher more hasn't come up and try and take her. Look alive, boys. It looks like we might be taking action soon. Hey, look at us, Rex. We match. See, I knew you were my Krogan brother. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Yeah, I thought you carrying a gun was probably a bad thing. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. Yeah, just like your former partner's assistants were very well adept to, uh, equipped to deal with me. Trust me, it's not going to work for you. Look at the freaking Turian and uh, Krogan I've got behind me. Not going to happen. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? <laughs> oh, no, we do not have a deal. You do not get to walk away from this. You go to prison. She's disbanding the gang. No, we don't have a deal. No deal. You go to prison. That's the end of. You're a gang leader. I was offering life, not freedom. Come along peacefully or I will take you down. A pity. Neutralize the Spectre! Hey, we all knew this was going to happen eventually. Guys, what are you using? Garrison Princeton, I saw you whip out a sniper. Good. Yeah, assault rifle. Rex. Pissed. Yeah, oh, here we go. Rex, get out of the way. I kind of need to disable this door. Rex. Go, go, go. Rex, move. Good. I need to open this door. <laughs> okay, now I've shut the door. Rex, get out of the way. <laughs> Rex, get your big fat Krogan butt out of my way. Uh, am I forget? Am I missing something here? Du -du -du -du. Oh, it was a simple matter of shooting him. George! Rightio, rightio, how are we going to be doing this? I think, Rex, you can stick some immunity on. Garrus, you can set a massive overload on that guy. I'm going to stick myself up a barrier. Which is good because Helena Blake is here to say hello. Right, I need my marksman. And you can... Hmm, none of these seem to have biotics. You can sabotage her. Okay, maybe some of them do have biotics. Go, go, go. The line. Go, go, go. Enemies everywhere. Yeah, we do have Emily's enemies everywhere. Throw that guy back, Rex. And... I'm going to stick with Marksman, I guess. Enemies everywhere. Rex, what is with you getting in my way today? Oh, looks like what's her face is down. Ah, he went behind the box. 
Come on, run around the corner. You know you want to. Boom! Biggest mistake you've probably made. Rex, carnage on him. Pull the line. Rex, you missed. <laughs> Rex, why do this to me? Alright, whoever we've got left, I'm pretty certain we can take them out together. This guy, I think, has somehow glitched into a wall. Yep, there he is. There he goes. Oh, come on, guys. Really? It's just one dude. Helen the Blake lies on the floor, bleeding from her wounds. She looks to you with a... a wry? Respectful smile and opens her mouth to speak. Only blood comes out. A moment later, she's gone. Your work here is done. Yeah, I could have said okay when she said she was going to disband the group, but then that means basically all her crime, she would have just walked away from them because I told her I didn't like her decision. And she's like, all right, I'll just run away free then because I've disbanded the group. It's like, no, prison or nothing. That was your option. She chose nothing. She may have died, but I still think that was the more paragonish option. Renegade would be if I let her live. She's like, oh, I'll shut down the group. And I'll be like, okay, you can live. If that happened, there would be no such thing as criminals. Well, they actually know there'd be so much thing as a lot of criminals. <laughs> you get caught for stealing, and they're like, alright, won't do it again, and the police just let you go. No, that's not how it works, Helena. Plus, from the second I met you on the Citadel, I wanted to kill you, not only because you seemed very shifty, but because I was just about to leave the Citadel, and you gave me one extra side quest I had to do. Not only a side quest, a long side quest. Three different systems I had to travel to. And all I did was kill you in the end. I didn't even get any credits for it. Not that I really need any credits now. I mean, Shepard is rolling in it. Hey, I didn't realise I got Garrus's decryption up that high. Nice one, Garrus. I'm here if you need me. You definitely were. Uh, yeah, I had no idea I had Garrus's decryption up that high. I wouldn't, didn't think I was going to be able to crack, like, high safes and stuff with him. If I did, I probably would have taken him a lot more. But anyway, that is finally Helena Blake's stuff done. We may have one or two more planets in this system to travel to. And then, even though I keep saying it, we are finally at Novaria. So I'll see you in a sec, guys.